And NASA's nearest satellite is in orbit, studying our oceans and our atmosphere. Now it holds three new instruments, which scientists say work a lot like our eyes do. National climate reporter Chase Kane has more. Two, one, booster ignition. Four power engines and liftoff of the Falcon 9 and PACE. Launching in the early morning hours, NASA's PACE satellite will orbit Earth in sync with the sun so that the sun is always at its back for the best view of Earth. PACE is an acronym for what the satellite will help us learn more about. Plankton, small plants and algae in the ocean. Aerosols, tiny particles from things like wildfires and pollution. Clouds and how they reflect or scatter incoming sunlight and ocean ecosystems. Simply put, this satellite is going to help us see tiny things a lot better. And those tiny things have a big influence on the way that our planet responds to the climate change that humans are driving by burning coal, oil, and gas. Imagine right now, scientists can only see with a few colors. Pace will be like adding hundreds of colors giving a full spectrum view of plankton and aerosols. So think about moving to a bigger box of crayons um, with more colors there. And so darker particles will uh, absorb sunlight, lighter particles will reflect it. How clouds form and where they form depend in part on that. What we're trying to better understand with PACE is the different types of aerosols. So, you know, there's sea salt, there's smoke, there's mineral dust, and all of this will better understand that and how it translates into clouds. And then there are the dreams that many scientists dare speak out loud. The things that this satellite might be able to do beyond what it was designed to do. You might have heard of an instrument called EMIT that we put on the International Space Station a couple of years ago. It was designed to measure mineral dust, which is another kind of these tiny particles that reflect or absorb sunlight. But the science team figured out how to measure methane with it, and we're now able to identify methane super emitters. And so we know, you know what PACE was designed for, and we're really excited about that, but I, you never know what NASA scientists and engineers will be able to figure out what to do next.